we step down a few steps to get to the entrance of the cave. You can see how it won't be too many eons from now and the ceiling is going to fall in. The rocks are separated and split, but down here is where we're going to go. Are you going to go with me, Mary? Uh, I Have you ever been I'll, in there? You know, I've been partway in there, not very far. I'll give it a try, but no, I won't be going very deeply in there, being we didn't bring our flashlights. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, here's what happens when you go in there. They live up to their name. They are icy. So the entrance here can be very slippery. You can end up on your back pretty quickly. Once you're inside here. Okay, here we are. We're inside the first cavern of the ice cave, and that is ice all the way down there. Um, I'm going to step over to give Mary room to come in, and yeah, there you go. You can see it goes way down here. If I stay over next to the wall, there's not as much ice, but sure is dark, isn't it? You can see Mary's coming in here. Taking a few photographs here. Oh, you are. I see you. Ah. Yes. Okay, I can get a little closer. It's sort of slippery here. So yeah, stay over to the far. You know what? It's sort of icy. Yeah, well, I wonder if that's why they call it the ice cave. Well, I bet it is. There's over here, over here. Still. Keep going. Ow. That's why it's icy. <laughs> are you okay? I'm okay. Are you hurt? Nope, I'm not hurt. Okay. I am resilient. That's well, you're graceful. That's part of I'll hold you up. Come on up. There you go. Okay, we made it. <sighs> yeah, that is ice all the way where the water is flowing, and it, it won't melt for a long time. If at all. We've been in here in August, and it's still been here. Get down to the bottom here. More to the bottom. I'm going to go over to the other side. And you can go back in here. Whoa, it's almost too dark for my camera. Back inside here. Hey, Mary, you got a flashlight on your cell phone? Uh, I do, but uh, let me see what I can see here out here. All right. Okay. A little more light up here in the beginning. There she is, way at the top. You can see her up there. Come down here, if you would. See over on the south side. And you're walking dirt on the south side. It's real obvious where I am. That this is the south side. <laughs> yeah. If we're coming from the west or from the southwest, I think. Yep, yep. You got it. Oh, it really smells like a cave. Like a cave. You probably can come over to the other side now, into that that spot right there. Sand. It looks like sand. You can see people have been here. Lots footprints. Of Lots of footprints here. All right. Hey, is that light still? Yeah, it's still on. If you come down here and shine it over my shoulder, we'll see what we can see back here. Uh, it is dark, so keep coming around. Oh, yeah. Right yeah. Up over my shoulder. It there. reminds me a little bit of Mammoth <laughs> Cave on a very small scale. That's where we are. Kind of a crevice down here. But a person can go back in there a ways. I don't know what's back there. I'm a little too claustrophobic for that kind of thing. So, that is your intro to the ice cave. Now getting back up, Mary needs to go clear to her right. To get back into the dirt. Yep. Because this is ice over here. And even in here, there's gravity. It will pull you to the bottom. Go ahead. Yep. Yep. Now back over to the south side. And up in the, uh, there we go. Very good. Okay, almost out. Almost out. Be careful. It is a little bit muddy here, but still icy. Yep. All right. I think all knees are, hands and knees are a good thing about that. <laughs>
It's always good to have with you a set of hands and knees, because you never know when you might need them. Oh, need that one. All right. Well, I'm going to. Staff would have been a good thing too. I'm going to ring off here.